Shalom, before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be taught as the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites. The Lord is not dealing with everybody. All right, because you got these wacky tacky Christians. They'll read Deuteronomy. I mean, not Deuteronomy. Um, they'll read uh, what's that? John three sixteen. Salakia, or they'll read uh, Galatians 3.28, and they'll say that the Lord loves everybody, but that's not what the scriptures are saying. So we're going to break this down. This is going to be a quick hit. Lord one is that's is edifying. This is Psalms 147 and 19. It says, he showeth his word unto Jacob. See, so the, when you read Psalms 147 and 19, the Lord is specifically giving you um clearly edification telling you who he's dealing with he's letting you clearly see in the scriptures who he's dealing with you know he's dealing with a specific nation of people those are the israelites which is you so-called negroes hispanics and native american indians psalms 147 19 he showed his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgments unto israel so that's who the lord is, is dealing with that's who the lord made a covenant with all right, the Lord made a covenant with Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I want to prove that. This is Genesis 17, and we're going to start at uh, verse uh, 19, right? It says right here, it says, And Yahweh said, Sarah thy wife, and this is what the Lord said unto Moses. I mean, not Moses, said unto Abraham, Salakia. This is what the Lord said unto Father Abraham, Salakia. This is Genesis 17 and 19. It says, And Yahweh said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed. See, so this is what the Lord said unto Father Abraham. It says, And thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. So who's the seed after Isaac? Jacob, right? And after Jacob was who? Right, that the 12 sons of Jacob, which is the 12 sons of Israel, which who we descend from, which are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So we have an everlasting covenant. All right, verse 20 it says, And for Ishmael, because Ishmael was born before Isaac, but the Lord didn't make a covenant with Ishmael, he made a covenant with Isaac. It says, And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee, behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful. And will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget. And I will make him a great generation. So the Lord blessed Ishmael. He did bless Ishmael. But he didn't make a covenant with him. He, Even though he was the son of Father Abraham. The Lord didn't make a covenant with Ishmael. But he did bless him. Because he was the seed of Father Abraham. He was the son of Father Abraham. Verse 21. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac. See. So the Lord is clearly giving you a distinction between the two of who he's dealing with. So he told, he's specifically telling you in verse 21 who he made a covenant with and who the Lord is dealing with. It says, but my covenant will I establish with Isaac, right? Which Sarah shall bear unto, unto thee at this set time in the next year. See? So the Lord made a covenant with Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we come from Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? We're the Israelites, so when you go to Psalms 147 and you read um, verse 19, it's telling you who he's dealing with. Verse Psalms 147, 19, he showed off his word unto Jacob because Jacob's father is who? Isaac, right? And who's the father of Isaac? Father Abraham. It says he showed off his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So that's who the Lord is dealing with, the Israelites. Verse 20. He have not dealt so with any nation. So the Lord is not dealing with everybody. The Lord does not love everybody. The Lord is only dealing with the Israelites. The Lord loves his people. The Lord loves the Israelites. Israel is his firstborn, right? Let's get that out. Exodus chapter 4 and verse 22. 
And it says, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. So that's who the Lord is dealing with. All through the scriptures, the Lord is dealing with the Israelites. The Lord is giving you a specific people of who he's dealing with. All right. So the Lord's the Lord's chosen people are the Israelites. Verse 20, it says, he have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise you the Lord, because the Lord wasn't dealing with everybody. The Lord segregated the nations. The Lord segregated the nations. Deuteronomy 32, verse 9 through verse 8 through 9. Deuteronomy 32, 8 through 9. It says, When the Most High divided the nations their inheritance. So the Lord gave each the Lord gave the nations their own inheritance of land. Inheritance of land. Alright? He divided the nations. The sons of Adam were wicked. Because that's the next thing people will say. Well, what about uh what about uh, Adam? We all came from Adam. You guys are absolutely right. We all did come from Adam. But that doesn't mean that the Lord is dealing with everybody, though. The Lord segregated the sons of Adam because the sons of Adam were wicked. Deuteronomy 32 and 8, it says, When the Most High divided the nations their inheritance, the nations had their own inheritance of land. It says, When he separated the sons of Adam, because the sons of Adam were wicked. They were wicked. It says, He set the bonds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. So that's who the Lord is dealing with right now, the Israelites. He's all through the scriptures. From, from Genesis to Revelations, the Lord always dealt with Israelites. That's who the Lord is dealing with. So when you read a new when you read in the New Testament and it talks about Gentiles, that's talking about Israelites with a Gentile state of mind. They were cast out as Gentiles. All right. They were Israelites of the flesh, but they had a Gentile state of mind. So when you read in the scriptures where it talks about Gentiles, when you go into Galatians 3:28, that's talking about Israelites in their heritage and Israelites that weren't in their heritage. They were cast out as Gentiles. They were Israelites of the flesh, but they had a Gentile state of mind, right? When you go into the Hellenization, when you go into the Hellenization period, so like it. When you go into the Hellenization period, the Israelites they had a Gentile state of mind. They were Israelites of the flesh, but they were uh, cast out as Gentiles. They were Israelites of the flesh, and they were cast out as Gentiles. It says, verse nine: For the Lord's portion is His people. See, it's giving you a specific on who He's dealing with. Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. So that's who the Lord is dealing with. The Lord is dealing with the Israelites. Now, when you go to John. 3 and 16 John 3 and 16 for is we for verbatim for it says for so it says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life this is talking about Israelites when you go into the meaning of that word uh world there it goes into the meaning of uh cosmos which means government or constitution that's talking about the Israelites all right. So the Lord, the Heavenly Father, sent down his only begotten son to die for the nation of Israel so we could be able to get grafted back to the father. Right. When we read it in uh, what's that? Romans nine, the ninth chapter. Right. When Apostle Paul, he wrote those uh, letters to the former Israelites. Right. When you read Romans, the ninth chapter. So this is talking about Israelites. And when you go to uh, Galatians three and twenty eight which I'm going to get right now. This is Galatians 3 and 28. It says, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither man nor female, for ye are all one in Yahweh Mashiach. That Greek there, when you read in uh, Acts 6 and 1, that's talking about Israelites. That's talking about Israelites. That goes into the meaning of uh, Hellenists, which means uh, Greek-speaking Jews. You had Israelites that spoke Greek, dressed Greek. They were in the ways of the Greeks. They were cast out as, as, as heathens, as Gentiles, but they were Israelites. So when you read the New Testament and you read Apostle Paul's letters, they were written to the former Israelites. Just like when Apostle Paul went to the city of Corinth. Corinth is an ancient city. You can look that up. He went to the city of Corinth. He went to the city of Galatia. Those were Israelites in those in those regions of those cities that Apostle Paul written, written those letters to. So all through the scriptures is talking about Israelites. The Lord is not dealing with all people. So read this again, Galatians 3 and 28. It says, there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. This is talking about Israelites, Israelite and Israelite foreigners right here. That Greek is talking about Israelite foreigners. Let me get this out, Acts 6 and 1. This is um, Acts 6 and 1. And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in a daily ministration. So when you go into the uh, Greek word of uh, Grecian there, as you see in the scriptures of Acts 6 and 1, it goes into the Greek word. The Greek word of Grecian is Hellenist, Hellenistes, which is Hellenistes, uh, uh, which is Hellenist, a Greek-speaking Jew. It was talking about Israelites. 
So Lord warns us and edifying again, all through the scriptures, the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites. All right. So Lord warns us and edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.